This is Dragon Skin. It's a whole new kind of body armor, and its designers claim it can resist these very powerful rounds. Dragon Skin uses advanced ceramic and titanium composite discs that overlap and interlink with each other. The way the discs are laid out allow the impact energy of the bullet to be dispersed over a larger area. And that's vitally important because even if the armor can stop the bullet, the force from an actual strike could be devastating. A round doesn't have to pierce body armor to cause serious internal injuries or even death. When the projectile impacts it, it induces yaw, and that yaw causes the bullet to come apart and disintegrate upon impact. What makes dragon skin so unique? It doesn't restrict your body movement. It takes substantial multiple repeat hits. Time to put dragon skin to the future weapons test. I'm going to fire a variety of bullets at dragon skin, including the steel core 556 and 762 rounds that we saw earlier ripping through metal plate. Surely this body armor can't repel that kind of onslaught. Firing an M16 with steel core 556 millimeter rounds can do some real serious damage. How will Dragon Skin cope with this power, especially from nearly point blank range? Can this revolutionary armor really stop rounds that blast through steel? Now we fire two rounds. We got two right there, nine millimeter. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Now we saw clearly what that did to a quarter inch of steel. Mm -hmm. Like it just went right through, like, like a knife through butter. That's this basically it. Nothing. Now comes a test. Most body armor doesn't do well against this round. It's time to get even more serious. The 762 armor piercing round turns steel plate into Swiss cheese. Can this reptilian style body armor really stop them? And we got two shots, basically two shots in the gut. Now, if this guy didn't have a vest on, it would clearly be over. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna rip this thing off and take a look. Let's look at this bad boy. All right. All right, bad boy back. What do we see here? That's incredible. 5.56 five, with steel core rounds. I'll tell you, I, I, was, I was on the edge of thinking that would actually work, you know? Uh -huh. And I'll tell you, when you start to look at this, a 7.62 by 39 flying the way it does, there's so much punch behind that. Mm -hmm. To not see it actually penetrate all the way through, 